Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. Happy Sunday and welcome to another episode of Polar Opposites. Today, I'm going to talk about when Ray Manzarek from The Doors got associated with a punk band. But before we get into that, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can continue to follow my musical obsession. So, we all know and love The Doors. Well, at least I do. Uh, such an influential band. Um, every time I listen to The Doors, their music sounds fresh. It doesn't sound dated. Um, and a lot of that has to do with um, not just Jim Morrison on vocals, but Ray Manzarek, the keyboardist. Um, such an amazing keyboardist. Added a unique sound to The Doors. So... How in the world did Ray Manzarek get associated with a punk band? Because, you know, thinking about music, I guess maybe there were some, you know, little bits of punk elements, garage elements in the Doors sound, but, you know, far from what punk would become. Well, let me tell you about a band that he became associated with, and the band is X. Okay. Um, Ray Manzarek produced X's first four records. So he produced their uh, debut, Los Angeles. He produced Wild Gift, Under the Big Black Sun, and uh, More Fun in the New World. That's one I need to pick up. So Ray Manzarek produced X's first four records. Pretty cool. X is a, a punk band, but they mix a lot of different genres. So I can kind of see where Ray was uh, attracted to that because it wasn't like the Sex Pistols or, you know, the Ramones. It was just, it was punk, but uh, sort of a hybrid of uh, Americana, rockabilly, a bunch of different stuff that was in their sound. So I guess reading up on this, um, one night in the late 70s, Ray and his wife were at the Whiskey A Go Go, and X was on stage performing. And I guess Ray Manzarek just totally fell in love with this band. He loved what they were doing on stage, he loved their sound. And then this song came on, he's like, wait a second, I recognize this song. It was Soul Kitchen. X was covering the Doors Soul Kitchen that night. And that was what solidified it for Ray Manzarek. He knew he had to be involved with this band in some way. And um, I'm just making sure. Yes. I, I wanted to make sure I told you guys the right information. Because when you watch Chris Brophy Musically Obsessed, most of the time it's right. X ended up covering The Doors' Soul Kitchen on their first album, Los Angeles. Um, now, X didn't really achieve the uh, success that I think the band and Ray Manzarek were hoping for. But, uh, you know, in the punk world, X is, is really high up there for a lot of people. Um, you know, along with bands like The Clash, Ramones, you know, Sex Pistols, Black Flag, any of those punk bands. Um, X is up there. And, uh, you know, I'd like to think that Ray Manzarek sort of put his stamp on that band and, and sort of help them to kind of create a unique sound. So listen, if you're into the doors, if you're into punk music, check the band X out. Uh, there's that connection there. And, uh, you know, I'd like to think that Ray added a little bit of that doors flavor in his production with the band. So, uh, check it out, but listen, enjoy the rest of your Sunday and, uh, Make sure you tune in on Wednesday for my What's Spinning Wednesday, where I show you everything that I've been listening to for the week. All right, guys.